Hi everyone, it's Diane. Today we're working on the Peacock Journals. I love the colors of these. And I have several... Let me see if I can show you. Sorry. I have a lot of different colors of thread from when I used to sew clothing. And I have one on my sewing machine and then I have these three. So this is what I'm going to use to make the to do the sewing on the peacock journals. Give me a chance to use some of that up. I just looked in my drawer. I was at Walmart this morning doing my shopping and I thought, oh, I wonder if I need to buy some colored thread for my peacock journal. I wanted to use like a peacock blue. And I almost picked one up. And then I thought, no, you better go home and see what you have. <laughs> it's a good thing I went home to see what I had. So last night when I couldn't sleep again, I came in here and I sprayed and stenciled my white pages. I did a little stamp there this morning. So they're all colored. Um, and this morning, well just now, actually this afternoon, I just Mod Pod some napkins onto some alterations tags and they're still wet so I haven't trimmed them yet. They're still drying. Just wanted to show them to you. And now we're at the sewing machine because I'm going to do some sewing over here. I took this scrap of my scrapbook paper and just um, sewed it to a piece of cardstock. But I used this wavy stitch and I went around it twice so the, the, the waves on the stitch just kind of go back and forth on each other. And this is what I'm going to put on this pocket. This little bit of a Indian fabric. I'm going to sew it to a page first and then I'll glue it down. <clears throat> I'll sew the pocket to a page first and then I will glue this piece down, is what I meant. I think it looks good on this page. Kind of blends in but still stands out. Maybe this is what I had in mind. Does that blend in enough? I mean, stand out enough? I really like the way those colors look together. I'm going to use it on this one. This is actually one of the patterned papers from the kit. And by the way, I mentioned yesterday that the kit is from TLC Creates Vintage called Peacock Parade. I'm going to put it back on a straight stitch for doing this. showed yesterday that I got out a lot of the sari fabrics and the embroidered and sequined pieces and then I also got out some of my gorgeous laces that are in the right colors. Look at that. That is perfect. That almost looks like a peacock eye. I mean the feather. The eye on a feather. You know what I'm trying to say. So and look at this pretty green and this lavender thought I had a bright blue in this lace too, but I may have used it up. So I have plenty of supplies, I just have to figure out exactly what I'm going to do with them. glad to be able to use some of these Indian pieces because I've made a lot of Bohemian journals but I can make a lot more with what I have and I do want to make more but 
I don't mind using them for other things. I did use some in some mermaid journals. You don't have to use these pieces just for boho journals because they go well with other things too. So I've done mermaid journals and now I'm using them for a peacock journal. Look at that beautiful peacock. I'll put stuff on some of these pages for journaling. I'll come up with something for that so you can write on this page. That is so pretty. I can cut it or I can leave it. I think for this, for dramatic effect, I'm going to leave it. But I don't want it to be too wide and getting caught in things. That's about right, I think. Well, there's a fabric flip right there, so I don't want to do another one right next to it. pretty. And that's really all I need to do if I, unless I want to put something for writing on underneath it. Have to figure out which side is the right side. I guess it's that one. some designer design team projects that I want to get done and then this is one of them but of course I put more on myself by turning it into three journals instead of one um, but I pulled some book covers that I'm pretty excited about using because I want to just kind of make like an eclectic journal out of each of these covers with I have so many different kinds of paper. I have wallpaper and wrapping paper, um, ledger and book pages and then all kinds, just all kinds of paper and pretty scrapbook paper too. And so I want to make just some eclectic books with really no theme and um, leave them pretty basic. I'll put pockets on them and maybe a little bit of fabric or lace, but pretty much leave them basic and uh, let you decorate them. So I'm excited about doing them. But I don't want to think ahead. I want to enjoy what I'm doing right at this moment. All right, I've got my printable cards here from the kit. Let's see what I can do with these. These are not from the kit. These are from Digital Collage, Digital Collage Club. There's a sheet of peacock feather tags so I've got that they had a they're having a sale actually right now I have to trim these a little bit Whatever I put there, I will have to trim. This is on the front of this signature, so I'll use a different one here. But I'm just going to trim a little bit. I want to still be able to see some of the film, the side strips of the film, but it just didn't fit. And then I can just stick one of these cards inside it.
I'm going to see what other colors of this lace that I have. I think I have more. I have this vintage lace that almost looks like the peacock feather eyes too. And I have that. Well, it might be in a drawer that's blocked by my tripod. I guess I don't have bright blue of that lace. I just have that blue. There's another blue. Ooh. This is pretty too. I just want to put a little something something up there. This just came to me from, I think it was from Pat Graves. I'm just wondering. I want it on this side because the peacock's head is over here. So this might be a little too close to the center for it to be dangling that much. I might use that somewhere else. I'm going to have to move my tripod a bit because... I'm pretty sure I have this in other colors. I like this color, but I just wanted something other than blue on this page because it's all pretty much blue. Hmm. Nope, I'm not seeing them. I was positive I bought more of that lace. I have pink. That's not what I want. Oh, I put it in this drawer. I have that color. Yeah, most of these colors won't work for this journal. But maybe this one would. I knew I had some. I don't buy a lot of purple stuff because I'm not a big fan of purple. I have purple things that came in batches of stuff in rummage sale or uh, flea market boxes and stuff like that. Well, let's see. I think I'll cut it down to this size. So I'm glad I have purple that I can use in these things. What did I just make that I needed? Oh, the iris journals. I use quite a bit of purple lace in the Irish, iris, not Irish, iris journals. It doesn't cover him up too much, does it? Now I can turn you back a little bit. It's uneven at the top. That's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> no, that's the way the image is printed because it's just a piece of film strip. I do want to say thank you to all of you who left such lovely comments on the video where I uh, showed my face. I was vulnerable there and I really appreciate I was so so nervous to do that you guys. I almost didn't. I videoed it three times and on the third one I watched it and I was like oh I don't know and then I just said just do it. So I hit publish and then I shut my computer and went off to do something else and tried not to worry about it. But you guys left such wonderful comments on there. I really appreciate it. 
I got more comment on that video than any other video probably. Especially, you know, all in one day. So, thank you. I love you guys. Thanks for the love you show me. tag in there. I like this one. It says, be different. Maybe I'll put one of the larger tags like this in there. It's almost dry. I can check the size anyway. Perfect. Yeah, that can go in there. Just let it dry a little bit more. I brought my boho journal in here just to kind of refresh my memory <clears throat> on what I did with some of the stuff. Maybe there are some things I can use in here. I should put lace on the edges of some of the pages. This is what I used the velvet on. Leslie, if you're watching, Leslie sent me the beautiful. And I did, I know I used some of the pink in my chocolate journal, but I was thinking I used other colors too. And this is where I used them. She sent me that velvet ribbon a long time ago, and I just hoarded it. And now I've used it. Now I can use it in other journals. I like that belly band made with that. All right, well, let's start with finding some lace to sew on the edges of some of the pages. I usually do that before I start decorating the pages, usually. I think I'll just put some right on the front page. <clears throat> You guys have a Hobby Lobby that you go to. I hope you always check the spooled ribbon when you're there or the spooled laces when you're there to see if they're 50% off. Because usually they have one or the other 50% off, either the spools or the lace by the yard. And I've gotten both. Sometimes I want the lace by the yard to be on sale, but usually I want the spools to be on sale because that's what I use the most. So I have a drawer. My, my tower of lace drawers that is right next to me here has a drawer j that just says spools. It's dedicated to spools, and I think they're pretty much all Hobby Lobby. So for example, this is marked $3.99, but I paid $2 for it half price and it's uh, three yards. This one was $2.99 so I paid $1.50 for it and that's two yards.
I will put that lace on the front of all three signatures. Today's Tuesday, so got some thread stuck there. Um, it's getting late already. It's after four o'clock, and I feel like I've just gotten started. But I spent a good share of time this morning packing orders, and then I took them to the post office. I had one the first Monday. I shipped out my um, books that you guys bought, the vintage books that I listed in my shop, and you guys bought them, so I shipped the rest of them. There's still a cookbook binder in there and a, one set of children's books, which is Pirates and Vikings. But I got those shipped yesterday, and then today I shipped out the the six traveler's notebooks that I listed and sold on Sunday, plus the other, you know, miscellaneous orders that come in for my shop. So I got all of that done this morning and then had to go get groceries and printer ink so that I could finish printing this kit. I had the papers printed, but not all of the journaling cards and stuff, the ephemera. I'm going to try not to let that run out again. I needed yellow ink and it was really expensive just buying a yellow ink cartridge at Walmart. I usually order it from Amazon. So I'm going to try to make sure I keep it stocked so that I don't run out like that again when I need it. Okay, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Now, I've told you before that I almost always sew a piece of lace to the front edge of the first page of the signature. Sometimes the next one in, that this one is too short, but I would do it on this one probably if this was taken up with something that I didn't want to put lace on. But usually it's on the very front page. And then I will go to the center, to the back, to the back um, page and find the closest one that comes out to the edge and then do a piece of lace there so that you have have a piece like halfway through the signature and that way it's very well spaced out throughout the whole journal that one is so pretty and delicate i'll have to look for some more of that next time they have it on sale i think it was a new one the last time i went I like it when I find new ones that I hadn't seen before. I suppose you don't want to watch me sew all of this lace on, so I'll do this one and then I'll move on to something else. I was saying today's Tuesday and I feel like I'm not making a lot of progress on these journals but I did finish my Mrs. Cog's design team project 
yesterday. That's not for anything for my shop. It was just for me. And I did do a video of it. Um, so i got to concentrate on doing these, finishing these the next few days. Yeah, that looks pretty. Okay. Now, I want to do something with these beautiful Indian fabrics and jeweled pieces. Let me get them over here where you can see them. I brought the silk fabrics over that I can use for flips and some of these pieces that I can use for flips or pockets or just decorations. I think I'd like to put a pocket here on this page. That's mighty big. I think this is pretty with the gold on it. You can't see that. pretty that is. Hmm. I don't want to cut too much of that. That would just be a nice embellishment on the page. adjust that to make it the best for you. I feel like I don't even know what I'm doing today. Like everything is just going so slow because I don't know what to do. This one's pretty. That would make a pretty pocket. I'd have to sew it to something of course, but look how pretty that would be. Well, good grief. There. Can you see that better now? Oop, just threw it away. Okay, so I just need a piece of cardstock that I like the color of. using green and teal and blue and purple in this journal. I'll get a couple shades of each thing over here so they're ready when I need them. This is a very thin one but it would be would work for a pocket. I think we'll go with that. I usually have all this stuff within my reach, but I'm at my sewing machine. Just mark it with a pencil where I want the pocket to be.
I have my trimmer over here on a tray right next to me. I'm thinking I'm going to look for a cart with wheels that is low enough that I can use the surface like I use this tray. Didn't even check to make sure that I was cutting it big enough for this. So that I can roll it out of my way as need be and also have some storage in it. Right now it's just one of those wooden TV trays that you use in your living room. I have my that's where I do my gluing with my glue stick and my cutting so I don't have to have all that stuff on my work surface. That looks pretty. But this looks too plain, so I want to use my deco foil on there, but I am going to have to look up how to use it because I can't remember how to use my deco foil. I used it when I first bought it back in October. Now I don't remember how to use it. And we're at half an hour now, so I'm going to stop this and look that up and then maybe come back and do that. Bye.